This one we are going to be looking at the next, I think, uh, member of the family that came in. Uh, like I said, the next two, I know which two are next, but I'm not sure which one was before the other. So these two are sort of guesswork. After that, it's honestly just going to kind of be total guesswork because I'm not really sure. But the next one we're going to look at is this. This is a Squire Bullet Stratocaster. Uh, it's got a hard tail, um, and this is essentially, well, I say it's essentially stock. As far as, like, the pickups are stock, the pots themselves are stock, the jack even is stock, uh, the tuners are the stock tuners, but there are a few things I've had to change on it for different reasons throughout the years, um, but a little history on this one. Uh, this... I actually got from my grandmother-in-law who passed away last year. Um, and I guess theoretically she never actually gave it to me. Um, she had bought this for one of the other grandkids and they got in trouble so she took it away and gave it to me and told me I could borrow it. Um, but it was still hers and if she ever wanted it back she was going to ask for it. So theoretically I guess I guess technically this would be part of a probate. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how that works. but. Uh, Technically, she never actually gave it to me, but I think that was her way of giving it to me without actually giving it to me. I don't know. Um, but I've had this nearly as long as I've been playing guitar. Um, I, I, I got that the uh, Franken bass first, and then I got that acoustic that I did the last episode on. And then it was either this or my Flying V that I got next. I don't remember which one I actually got first, but they were both around the same time, so... Uh, the Flying V will be the next one of these videos that I do of, of Meet the Family because one of the two was next. So uh, this, as I said, is mostly is mainly stock as far as important stuff. The things I have had to change on it is is I put some roller um, string trees on there mainly because I bought some for a different project and had some extra left over and thought, well, what else can I put these on? And I don't have a lot of Fender type guitars that actually have the little string trees. So this was kind of the default answer. Well, this is the only one I've really got that can use them. So I put them on there. Uh, they are gold, and everything else on here is silver. So they kind of don't really match, but I don't really care. Um, I have had to replace the nut on this, actually. Or have it replaced. This was before I got to where I felt comfortable doing stuff like that myself. Um, I actually broke the nut that was originally on here. Um, <laughs> because I bought a set of the... Uh, Zach Wilde signature strings that are like super heavy on the low strings and super lightweight on the high strings and decided I was going to put them on this strap and uh, well I didn't realize that the nut would need to be recut for that to work right so I just stuck them in there and tightened it up and as I got it up to, you know up to tune the nut just snapped in half and so I actually took it to a guitar shop that was around here and had them put a new nut in um, I have also replaced the knobs on here just with different ones Mostly just because I wanted to. Uh, not they, they didn't really need it. Um, I think that's actually one of the stock knobs right there. These came on something. I'm not really sure. Um, but like I said, the pickups are the same. I thought about changing them out. I probably will eventually, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I might actually buy a whole new pick, you know, one of those loaded pick guards to put in there. Um, and surprisingly, I have not had to change out the jack. And I say surprisingly because most... Um, most of my guitars I've had to do that to at some point because jacks just tend to go bad. Um, this one has not so far, knock on wood. Uh, the pick guard is pretty scratched up with red from uh, 
the picks I used to use that were red. But this is this is my strat. It's actually the only strat I technically have that's any sort of a strat. Um, it's got some. It's got a lot of sentimental value, to be honest with you. Um, I don't really like strats all that much. It's not really my main, the main type of guitar I play. But I, I'll never get rid of this one. Uh, I might upgrade it some, but I'll never get rid of it because it's got sentimental value. It's super lightweight, which is cool because um, it's it's one of those ninety nine dollar uh, specials. As far as tuning on this one, I keep this one tuned to. Um, yeah, what do you call it? Stevie Ray Vaughan tuning, I guess. You know, a half step down. So it's you know, E flat, A flat, D flat. Yeah, uh, I do that mainly just to have something in that tuning, and also because strats tend to sound really good. Tune down like that. So that is my bullet. Uh, and that's this episode here, and you can actually still sort of see the sticker. It says model. SQ, I guess Squire, Bullet, backslash BBL. I don't know what the BBL stands for. If this was crafted in Indonesia, in case you were wondering, you can see that on the back of the headstock there. But it's a blue. Uh, it's got some scrapes and such from being played over the years. Um, but that's this one. Uh, like I said, the next one up will be the Flying V, um, because it, I know it's it and this are somewhere in the same range of each other, even if they're not exactly the same spot. Uh, so y'all stay tuned for that one, and uh, leave a comment down below if you've got any questions or anything, or if you just wonder about something or whatever, you know, if you want to talk. Alright, well y'all have a good one. Stay safe out there.